We live in an era of astonishing machines, a time where the boundaries of engineering are constantly being pushed. From the smallest microchips to the largest structures, human ingenuity has created marvels that were once confined to the realm of science fiction. Cars that defy physics, vehicles capable of speeds and maneuvers that seem to bend the very laws of nature. These aren't just modes of transportation, they are testaments to our relentless pursuit of speed and performance. Ships like floating cities, colossal vessels that traverse the oceans carrying thousands of people and tons of cargo. They represent the pinnacle of naval engineering, complex ecosystems unto themselves, and most impressively, fighter jets. These are the apex predators of the skies, machines built for speed, agility, and unparalleled combat capability. They represent the cutting edge of aerospace technology. At the top of this technological mountain stand two giants, two aircraft that represent the pinnacle of modern fighter design. They are symbols of national power and technological prowess. The American F-22 Raptor, a fifth-generation stealth fighter designed for air dominance, it's a marvel of engineering, packed with advanced technology and designed to rule the skies. And China's Chengdu J-20 Mighty Dragon, a stealth fighter that represents China's ambition to challenge American air superiority. It's a symbol of China's growing technological might. For years, the F-22 was the undisputed king, the gold standard against which all other fighters were measured. Its combination of stealth, speed and maneuverability made it virtually untouchable. A ghost in the sky, able to penetrate enemy airspace undetected, delivering devastating blows before the enemy even knew it was there. Its stealth capabilities were unmatched. So advanced, the US stopped making them, believing that its technological advantage was insurmountable and that no other nation could possibly catch up. Convinced no one could catch up, the US rested on its laurels, confident in the F-22's continued dominance of the skies. But then, the J-20 emerged from China, a sleek, powerful fighter that signaled a shift in the balance of power. A bold, ambitious challenger, ready to take on the established order and prove its worth on the world stage. The world's been asking, ever since the J-20's debut, a question that has sparked countless debates and analyses. Which is better? Which of these two advanced fighters would emerge victorious in a head-to-head -head confrontation? Is the F-22 still the master, still the undisputed king of the skies, despite its age and the emergence of new challenges? Or has the J-20 learned enough to dethrone it? Has China successfully closed the technological gap and created a fighter that can truly challenge American air superiority? This isn't just about speed or missiles. It's about a complex interplay of factors including stealth, maneuverability, sensor technology and electronic warfare capabilities. It's about national pride and the future of air dominance. A competition that reflects the shifting balance of power in the 21st century. So let's dive in compare these two titans, examine their strengths and weaknesses and analyze their capabilities in detail, and see who really rules the skies, who truly deserves the title of the world's most advanced fighter jet, F-22, Raptor vs. J-20 Mighty Dragon, a clash of titans, a battle for air supremacy. Let the debate begin and may the best fighter win. Behold the J-20 Mighty Dragon. A symbol of China's growing aerospace prowess, this advanced fighter jet represents a significant leap forward in military aviation technology. It's China's direct answer to Western air power, a strategic asset designed to project force and assert dominance in the skies. This aircraft is more than just metal and wires, it's a statement of intent. Developed by Chengdu Aerospace, a cornerstone of China's aviation industry, the J-20 embodies years of research, development and relentless pursuit of technological advancement. It's classified as a fifth-generation stealth fighter, placing it among the most advanced combat aircraft in the world. Its design incorporates cutting-edge technologies aimed at minimizing radar cross-section and maximizing survivability in contested airspace. The J-20 is built for extended range and a formidable presence over the vast expanse of the Pacific Ocean, allowing China to extend its operational reach and safeguard its maritime interests. It's a key component of China's power projection strategy. Its distinctive canards and sleek aerodynamic design not only enhance maneuverability but also contribute to its stealth profile, setting it apart from other fifth-generation fighters. These features are a testament to innovative engineering. 
but its true strength lies in its advanced technology. A suite of sophisticated systems working in concert to provide unparalleled situational awareness and combat effectiveness. Featuring an advanced AESA radar or active electronically scanned array, the J-20 can track multiple targets simultaneously, providing a significant advantage in air-to-air -air combat. It's equipped with 360-degree sensors, offering comprehensive situational awareness and the ability to detect threats from any direction. This provides a crucial edge in modern aerial warfare. The J-20 emphasizes seamless networking with other military assets, enabling coordinated operations and enhanced battlefield awareness through advanced data link systems. Early models face challenges relying on Russian-supplied engines, which somewhat limited its overall performance and potential. But China's development of the new WS-15 engine a domestically produced power plant represents a major breakthrough. The WS-15 promises to unlock the J-20's full potential, delivering increased thrust, improved fuel efficiency and enhanced maneuverability. The J-20 isn't merely a copy of existing designs, it showcases original Chinese innovation and engineering prowess. It's a powerful statement that China is not just catching up but is ready to take the lead in aerospace innovation and military technology. The J-20 signifies a new era of Chinese technological independence. With each new batch rolling off the production line, the Dragon grows stronger, more capable and more influential on the global stage. China is aiming not just to catch up with established military powers, but to surpass them in key areas of technological development. The J-20 represents a commitment to achieving air superiority and ultimately to win in the arena of global power projection. Now, the reigning champion, the F-22 Raptor. When it debuted in 2005, it was a quantum leap, stealthy, agile and deadly. Its radar cross-section is minuscule, and it can supercruise above Mach 1.5 without afterburners, giving it unmatched speed and endurance. Thrust vectoring nozzles let it outmaneuver anything in the sky. Its sensor fusion gives pilots total situational awareness, but the Raptor is rare. Production stopped at just 187 jets, making it a precious asset. It's a legend, but also an endangered species, unmatched in combat, but limited by its numbers. Let's compare. Speed? Both are fast, but the F-22 Super Cruise is a clear edge. Agility? The Raptor's thrust vectoring dominates in a dogfight, while the J-20's canards help, but it's built more for long-range strikes. Stealth? The F-22 is stealthier from all angles, the J-20 excels up front but has vulnerabilities elsewhere. Weapons? Both carry missiles internally, but the J-20's PL-15 may outrange the F-22's MRAM. Sensors? The F-22's battle-tested fusion is legendary, but the J-20's newer tech and 360-degree view are impressive. It's experience versus innovation, a classic matchup. The F-22's strength is its perfect blend of stealth, speed and agility. Its pilots are elite, its systems proven in real-world missions, but its biggest weakness, numbers. With fewer than 190 Raptors, each one is precious. And their tech, while revolutionary, is aging. Its range is also limited compared to the J-20, which could matter in the vast Pacific. The Raptor is a masterpiece, but it's a finite resource. Every deployment is a strategic decision. In a drawn-out conflict, scarcity and aging systems could tip the balance. The J-20's strength lies not just in its advanced technology and sleek design, but in something more fundamental. It's a multi-role platform, capable of fulfilling a variety of mission objectives. That strength is its adaptability. It can be configured for air superiority, strike missions or even reconnaissance, making it a versatile asset for the Chinese Air Force. Built for Asia's vast distances where operational ranges are critical, the J-20 boasts impressive endurance and the ability to project power far from its home bases. It can strike far and hard, delivering a significant punch against enemy forces with its advanced weaponry, targeting not just fighters, but also vital support planes like AWACS and refueling tankers, which are crucial for maintaining air operations. Taking out these support assets can cripple an enemy's air power, China can build as many as needed, ramping up production to meet its strategic goals and replace any losses. Constantly upgrading with new tech, incorporating the latest advancements in avionics, sensors and weaponry to maintain its competitive edge. But questions remain, even with all its apparent strength. 
How stealthy is it from all angles, especially against advanced radar systems designed to detect low observable aircraft? Are the new engines truly reliable, providing the necessary thrust and performance without compromising stealth or maintainability? And can its pilots and software match the F-22's battle-hardened edge, gained through years of operational experience and continuous refinement? The J-20 is powerful and evolving, a testament to China's growing aerospace capabilities. But much of its true capability is still untested in real-world combat scenarios, leaving some uncertainty about its effectiveness against peer adversaries. It's a force to be reckoned with, demanding respect and careful consideration from potential adversaries. But its ultimate potential, its true place in the future of aerial warfare, remains a mystery, shrouded in secrecy and speculation. So who wins? It depends. In a one-on-one -on -one dogfight, the F-22's agility and proven systems likely give it the edge. But air combat isn't just duels, it's strategy, numbers and reach. The J-20's range and production scale could overwhelm the limited Raptor fleet, especially in the Pacific. The F-22 is the king of tactical combat. The J-20 is a strategic challenger built for a new era, the real winner. The relentless competition driving both nations to push the limits of technology. For aviation fans, that's the best result of all.